Welcome to AVID, the program for advancement via individual determination. Most of us have been using AVID. This will be our primary tool for organization and learning this year. Today, we are going to walk you through putting your AVID binder together. It is your responsibility to maintain your AVID binder and transport it between home and school every day. On the cover of your AVID binder, you will get an AVID sheet. You will label the front with your first and last name. You will label the side of your binder with your homeroom teacher's name and your grade level. As we open our AVID binder, we will place the label for warrior work on your left hand side. Warrior work includes homework to be completed at home, project instructions and materials, and papers where signatures from an adult are needed. In the middle of your AVID binder, you will have supplies needed for your pencil pouch. This is here throughout the year and will not move. Next, you will have your pencil pouch. In your pencil pouch, you should have two sharpened pencils, a pencil sharpener, one highlighter, 12 colored pencils, a pink eraser, one pair of scissors, and if you are a sixth grade student, you will also have two pens. Moving forward, you will have a full list of school supplies needed for learning this year. Teachers, this is an important tool to mark who has the supplies needed. If any supplies are missing, please make a check or an X and send it home requiring an adult signature. Next, you'll place your agenda. There is a printed cover sheet with David L. Walker in the school year. Behind the cover sheet, you will see a sample of the calendar for the week. Students and teachers, this shows how the agenda should be filled out. This agenda is not a place for objectives, teaks, or learning plans. This is for events and time management only. Please note that we are including not only school events, but also at-home events. It is important to maintain time management skills and realize that that is an all-day, everyday skill. The calendar includes sheets for the six weeks and will be changed out per marking period. After the calendar, you will see a sheet for your self-portrait and your belief statements. Um, at the bottom of your belief statements, you are coming up with a personal mission statement for the year. Teachers, instructions for this activity will be in your boxes. A template for setting SMART goals is behind the self-portrait and mission statement. Next, you'll put in a sheet protector. On the front side of the sheet protector is a rubric for your AVID binder. These will be graded weekly. On the back side of the sheet protector is an anchor chart for slant to remind you what the behavior expectations are during lesson time in your class. Next is the math section. The entire math section is blue. You will have a blue plastic divider. It will need to be labeled math. Behind that you will have a blue piece of cardstock. It will need to be labeled notes. In this section for each subject, you will have model Cornell notes. This is an important tool to remind yourself, students, as you are taking notes, what the expectations are. And teachers, this is an important tool to remind you how to model Cornell notes for your students. It is important that this section also includes clear notebook paper to be used every day in class. Our goal is to have eight to 10 pieces or pages of Cornell notes per week in each subject. Next, there's a blue piece of cardstock labeled graded work. This is where you'll keep a log of all of your returned grades. Assignment number, the name of the assignment, the date it was assigned and due, and the grade earned, points possible. Last in each subject is a section for tests and quizzes. You will have a data log in this sheet. Next is the ELAR section. This section is yellow, plastic yellow divider. Notes section. Graded work.
tests and quizzes. Next is a science section. The science section is green. Plastic divider. Notes. You'll notice that in my sample binder I have tabs. This is the easiest way for students to find the needed section. It is not required, but it is recommended. Graded work. Tests and quizzes. Last, you will have a section for social studies. So you will have an orange plastic divider. Notes. Graded work. Tests and quizzes. At the back of your Avid Binder, you will have a rubric for your Cornell Notes assessments. These will be graded periodically throughout the marking period. The last page on the back side of that sheet protector is a script for academic language. We will use these for Socratic seminars and philosophical chairs. On the back side of your binder, you will have a pocket for work that is ready to return. This, this is completed homework or, si or forms that have been signed by adults. Teachers, if you have questions about how to use the binder in your class, please don't hesitate to contact someone on the AVID site team. Students, if you have questions about how to maintain your binder or use this as your primary organizational and learning tool, please let your teacher know. Have a good day.